So anyway, I've done a lot of videos with um, guitar and with my songs, and I never did any with the bass. So um, most people don't know this, but I, I play bass too. Um, I actually never even owned a bass guitar until four years ago, but despite never owning a bass guitar, um, I wrote all the bass lines for my band, uh, Social Mishaps, and I wrote um, half of all half of the bass lines for my first band, Scanly Clad, spanning back to when I was 19. So basically, I've been writing bass lines for 10 years before ever even owning a bass guitar. I would just write them on, you know, the, the first four strings on the guitar. Sometimes, you know, it'd be a little too high with the octave because, you know, it's not quite the same octave on the guitar, even though it's the same strings. Um, but most of them turned out. So um, I figured I'd do a video with the bass lines I wrote. Um, some of them kind of cool. So um, here we go. So this is the uh, first bass line I wrote. It's from my band Scanly Plaid. Uh, Brett wrote like the lyrics and the vocals, and I wrote the uh, regular guitar and I wrote the bass guitar. So um, Michael, the bass player, he played the first stop. Uh, uh, Michael Testerman, he was the one who actually played my bass lines in Scanly Plaid, and then um, it was Nix who played my bass lines in um, Social Mishaps. Uh, so this is like uh, one of the first ones I wrote. So. And it's called, and um, the song was called, I'd Give Anything for a Fiery Explosion. That's what that song, which, that's one of Brett titles. I would never title it like that. So here we go. It feels like this. Like a... touched a bass guitar, <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, so that was, uh, that was from Skin Like Plaid song. And um, this one's also Skin Like Plaid, and it was called um, I'm Hurt, I'm Hurt Real Bad. So it's like this, it's like a...
I heard them real bad. Um, one of the other early bass lines I wrote uh, was from, again, Skinny Plaid. The song was called Black Tears. That was like this. It's like a... himself because he kind of got the gist of what I was doing um, and then I didn't have to write anymore so then um, so now we get into like more present material um, this is one of my favorite bass this is, I'm gonna go to the drop D material um, this song was is called um, uh, live on the moon this is probably one of my favorite bass lines I ever wrote um, so it's from my uh, drop detuning material and it goes like this it's like um <laughs>
all alone. <laughs> They're like a... one little one teeny little riff that Nick's kind of threw in on top of what I wrote which is like this part that's like which is like that little part because I don't think I had that I might have everything else was mine though but because I I think he threw that in that was like this little flare part that he kind of threw in I think I might have wrote that I don't even I don't remember but I know the rest of it I remember so 
but I'm assuming that little part he might have wrote. It goes like this. It's like a. Uh, ah, fuck it up. One, two, three, go. set list for uh, social mishaps, so that covers that, um, and here's like a few other bass lines that no one's heard yet because they haven't been, they haven't been recorded with like a full band set up yet, but um, they exist. So the first song you saw, you guys saw me play in a recent video, that was called, um, I Really Didn't Know I Hurt You That Much, yeah, I think that was the title, I Really Didn't Know That I Hurt You That Much. Um, this is the bass line for that song. It's just pretty cool.
This song's fucking fun. It's just punky. Songs from the stress. Uh, I don't think you guys really play, heard me play that song live too much, but it's awesome though. <laughs>
um, it's over. Um, and this video might be over. <laughs> I think I'm out. I think I'm out of bass lines that I wrote. I mean, that's like rehearsed and that I remember. Um, Oh, no, there's one more. There's one more. This one's from um, Going Down with the Titanic. This song, this one reminds me of Mike Dirt. Well, Mike like Redundant or something like that. That's what it reminds me of. Um, song's uh, Going Down with the Titanic. It's like a... Uh... Fuck, I fucked it up. Here, hold on. One, two, three, go.